What's up, guys? Joe over here. Got another random video. Okay, just a disclaimer, you know, all my everything I say is just basically my experience. And, you know, honestly, I do these videos when I have nothing else to do in the sense like, you know, Paul was supposed to send me a video today, but something came up, so he's not going to be able to have it for me. So I got free time. So I'm like, eh, might as well talk about something because uh, I don't know. Lately, I kind of noticed that, like, I do enjoy speaking about my past experience when it comes to business, right? Um, I'm definitely no expert in anything, but all I can do is share my experience of things because, I don't know, I kind of have a, I get a kick out of it. And for like the 10 people that watch my videos, if they can benefit you in any manner, then sure, why not, right? So also gives me something to do. And like by making these videos, I do have a form of practice to keep editing to figure out ways to get a shit down faster and whatnot. So like I said, the videos are mainly all for bullshit for fun and yeah, just to share a little bit of experience with you guys. So as mentioned in the past, uh, my dad, he started his business out of a garage, right? He started like, uh, you know, working from home, eventually got a shop and all that stuff. And after high school, I worked for him full time, right? And we basically grew up business together. This is my dad. Uh, he was from a foreign country. I was born here in America. English was my second, first language, whatever. So as I got older, when I got older, my dad would send me off to like go talk to the customers and like, you know, set up the business, talk to them about pricing and all that shit, right? So when it comes to being self-employed, you know, people think, oh yeah, you're going to work on yourself. You're going to, you know, all this money's going to come in and yada, yada. And you'd be surprised how much work goes into it. Just... <laughs> You know, it's no picnic. It's not, it's not easy whatsoever. You definitely need to, like, develop certain skills. You definitely need to learn to develop personal presentation towards the customer and all that stuff, right? In regards to when I get asked questions about, like, editing and, you know, when I have people ask me to help them for them to start their YouTube channel because I've had that, people asking me to be their editor and all this shit and, like, you know, they just bought a bunch of equipment and, you know, they want to start a new tech channel and all this shit. And, you know, uh, first of all, thank you. I'm I'm glad that you see someone like me that would be of uh, worth to help you out. But, you know, obviously I'm at a point that I can't because I'm very busy working with Pawn along with my other personal uh, obligations and personal projects. The thing I guess I'm trying to get at with this video is basically that um, when you start to put yourself out there, when you start to like try to meet people and shake hands and, you know, try to like offer your services or provide a content or just, just be in front of people like, you know, trying to offer yourself, trying to show what you got to offer. Um, I'll give you a warning straight out. It's a lot easier when you're more of yourself rather than like whatever business bullshit that you've learned when you go to school. <laughs> you know, one of the classes I hated, um, it was like business communication or yeah, just like a communication class. And like I had this one like proper business etiquette type of guy that like he was dressed in a suit and like he was always like, you know, fucking had that look on him and like always had proper hair and all that. Now, the guy was cool in the sense that I mean, he did speak in a manner where he was clear, uh, articulate. You know, he didn't pause himself. He was direct. So, yes, that you, you do need to learn how to do. I have a hard time doing that sometimes. You know, um, sometimes I tend to speak too fast. So when I went to talk to the customers, I did not how to learn how to speak in a manner that I can come across Easily to be understood, not offensive, but at the same time, like, be someone that you can trust because I'm more laid back and comfortable and all that shit, right? I think one of, like, the hardest things that uh, was hard for me to learn is that not everybody grew up the same way as you did. Now, that makes sense, right? However, when it comes to, like, you trying to offer your services to someone, it's important, I feel, to go as yourself because your personality and the way you communicate kind of re reflects your style of work, but at the same time, you have to be careful not to talk to him as if you were talking to your friends, you know, at a bar, obviously, you know. Now, that's common sense shit, but you'd be surprised, you know. Like I said, I fucking had to go and deal with people. Um, I had people that uh, I had to, like, you know, organize to, like, get a job done, right? And, you know, had, like, employees and all this stuff. And you'd be surprised how fucking stupid people can be in regards to, like, you know, not understanding what I'm saying, like, or out of embarrassment. Uh, if, rather than, like, asking questions to reconfirm what I just said, so to make sure they understood, they felt embarrassed, so they just say yes, 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 even though they didn't understand what I'm saying, because they don't want to, you know, come, they don't want to feel embarrassed, like they didn't understand me, and then like later down the line, like shit gets fucked up, because like, because they didn't understand me, they didn't do what I asked them to do, you know, kind of shit, so there's a lot of things that you have to like, uh, get over, you know, a lot, you know, your ego got hurt, or you're very protective of your ego, so you try to like come off as smarter than you really 
are type of shit or my personal favorite people like are insecure so or they come up as a bit of an aggressive asshole like fucking they kind of raise their voice at you and type like that or this, they try to talk down on you people like that you know obviously go fuck you go fuck yourselves but I've learned people that like come off like that as an asshole they usually are the people that are like the most insecure or least experienced because they don't know what they're doing they don't know how to like ask a favor because they don't know how, what to ask from you so they're like you fucking do it and do it now what is it you want me to do? Do that fucking thing. What? That thing, fix it. Fucking do something. What is it you want me to do exactly? You know, it's like, I know what I need to do. However, there's something specific that you want me to do, you know, that you want it to done. You need to tell me and communicate with me exactly how you want it done. That way I can do, take my skills and be able to like fucking, you know, give you the service that you want, right? Learning to communicate with the people that you're working with is very important, right? Um, And I feel like, you know, in school, yeah, you learn to communicate and socialize with your fucking groups of friends and all that but when it comes to like dealing with people when it comes with money and your life depends on it financially uh, it's definitely a different ballpark a definitely a different game that you have to like uh, be careful with obviously even Personal experience is like the best practice. Uh, that goes without saying. And uh, yeah, you're going to make mistakes and all this shit. But um, I guess I'll end the video with this. When me and my dad started with the business, we were super concerned with coming up with a proper image. In a sense, like shave, haircut, dress nice. Uh, we got to a point where like, you know, like when we entered the house, we put on like the stupid little booties on our shoes because we wanted to like appear respectful and all this shit. We didn't want to cuss. We stood up straight, firm handshake. It was very mechanical. And like, uh, there's been a couple of times where the customers were, were like, kind of like, what the fuck are you doing? Relax, chill out. Hey, take your shoes off, you know? People want that. You know, people want to feel comfortable with you. Now, if people don't, then I learned from experience, you know, you want to stay away from those people. If they're like, mean, Ugh. they're criticizing you for this and that or the way you present yourself. You can tell them to go fuck themselves, you know, because your attitude, the confidence of your work is reflected, you know, saying. So, and I think that's kind of important. Like, uh, if you show up kind of like, all fucking strict and uptight and all that, then you gotta make people feel uneasy because, like, you're trying to compensate, you know? If you aren't sure of what you're able to offer, if you're confident with your work and your product and all the stuff, then, like, that kind of, like, transcends through the way you communicate with people, and that's something you need to learn to develop, right? So if you're, you know, if you're starting out, like me and my dad did, we weren't exactly sure what we are doing, and that kind of reflected on the way how we presented ourselves at first, and it took us a while to get customers because we were so uneasy at first, you know? And when we were doing our advertisement, we're like, oh, yeah, great product, happiness guaranteed, fucking this and that, you know, kind of like, you know, just pretend like we're a giant billboard throwing, like, the big fucking fonts with the damn exploding text and all that. Yeah, we promise to do great for you, yada, you know, all that shit, <laughs> you know, and you know, people are smart, you know, people can see through that shit, you know, for the most part, people are average Joes, they're not like, you know, going through school, how to receive proper etiquette on communication, you know, they're, fuck it, they're accepting you in their house, they're accepting you into their lives for a moment, you know, and one way to make them feel comfortable is basically be more myself, showing up, quick handshake, hey, what's going on, man, how you doing today, such, you know, what happened today, oh, I fucking hit my toe getting ready this morning and I hurt like a motherfucker, you know, just be yourself, you know, be friendly, be a friend, you know, um, because if you're just constantly worried about, like, how people perceive you and you're pro personally always putting on this, like, show and act of, like, you're a proper guy, you always shave, and your hair's never messed up, your teeth are always clean and all that. I mean, those are common sense good things to do and regardless, but it is tiring to keep that shit going all the time. And, like, you know, I used to do that, and it's very draining. And not only that, if, like, you're upfront, if you're offering more than you're able to offer, you know, then pretty much, obviously, people are going to get more upset with you because, you know, you pretty much promise more than you're able to do. And then, like, you know, it's going to cause problems because you didn't communicate that from the start. And that's one thing I learned to do eventually down the line when I started to, like, you know, go talk to customers after a few years of, you know, going through these, I guess, embarrassments because, you know, I didn't know how to deal with people. You know, you got to be upfront and be like, hey, yeah, I can do this, but this is how I'm going to do it. This is what I'm able to do, right? And if they are not comfortable with what you're able to offer, then that's fine. You know, it'll save you time. You know, don't be worried to get the customer. Be worried to find customers that say they're more comfortable to work with you and that'll make things a lot easier, right? <laughs> it sounds corny. It sounds cheesy. And I'm pretty sure people say it all the time, but learn to be yourself. You know, that's so easy that it can be complicated because I think for the most part, most people don't know 
who they are quite yet, you know, type of thing, or they don't know, they're not comfortable, or they don't realize how good their product is, so they don't know exactly what their potential is type of thing, so that's something you need to, like, learn and develop, right, so learn to be yourself, be confident with your work, and, like, be open with what you're able to offer, and, like, pretty much all that will pretty much transcend through the way you communicate with other people, so I guess that's all I got for this video, so hope it helps, take care and peace.